So we are looking at solids uh, on page number 67. Uh, this time we are going to be looking at the pentagonal pyramid and it says here clearly the instructions, the front view and the top view of a right regular pentagonal pyramid is shown uh, and there you can see a pentagonal meaning a five sided shape and it has an apex at the top there and all these sides are all going to the apex and all the dimensions are given and it's cut by cutting plane AA uh, at 60 degree at a 60 degree angle the instructions are you must draw to scale of 1 is to 1 the sectional top view the sectional left view which is preferably on your right hand side here so you got to leave some space here to draw that and then you must uh, project a true shape of the cut surface only okay all the construction must be shown and no hidden detail is required so we are going to start by drawing this first okay so what you need to do importantly is that if you have a, a, a pentagonal shape is to find either the vertical vertical line or if it has a horizontal line in this case these are all at different angles so it's difficult to find these angles but there I have that line so I'm gonna start preferably here on this side here um, maybe I'm gonna do it there I'm gonna draw a vertical line and on that vertical line I'm going to measure off the size of 32 so there I've got my 32 perfectly right that's my 32 but now there's a specific angle that I need to have here and there which are outside angles of my of my uh, pentagon so what I'm going to do is I have to use a protractor and there's my protractor and I'm going to put my little marker on that line and it lines up perfectly with the line and I'm going to work from the outside from 0 to 72 so that's 70 and 1 2 so there's my 72 I want to be very clear 72 and then I'm going to draw a line at that 72 angle like that there and I'm going to do the very same thing at the bottom here so I'm just going to move this out of the way and I put my little marker of my protractor on the second point and line that up and line and I need to line it up with my my vertical line and I'm going to work from the outside um, like I did here so uh, basically I'm going to have my 72 exactly there right if you could just pay attention to the bottom part and then I'm going to draw my line from the point where I'm measured like that there okay now I know for a fact that all sides are 32 so I'm going to measure off 32 here as well or preferably um, I can also use my my compass and I also I like to use my compass my compass is a very uh, useful tool so I'm going to do that compass of 32 and I'm going to just swing it just make sure that it's perfect there's my 32 and I'm gonna mark it on this side and I'm gonna mark my 32 on that side there now I know I've got my 32s and then while I'm at it I put this sharp point on this side here and maintain my 32 from both sides and I will have that over there which now forms my pentagon perfectly so I can just draw that in and I can draw that in. These are all constructions at the at the moment. Okay. Now, once I have that, uh, it's important now to find the center point here. How do I do that? Um, what I can do is that I need to bisect two of the five angles. Just two of them, right? So I'm going to take the, the the any two of them basically. So I can take this one because that one is 32. I'm going to bisect that, that's perfectly, half of 32 is going to be 16, so I'm going to measure of 16, right, here's my 16, and I'm going to draw a line like that there, right, 
very faint just there and then I'm going to use another angle which is maybe that angle there and I am going to draw a 16 um, there as well mark, mark a 16 that's halfway and what I can do is I can keep that as a base there right there's my base and I can use my sheet square just to run on that base to basically just do another bisector there and wherever it crosses now is going to be my um, I just want to make it sure it's very clear right I'm going to show you again that there where I cross that line is going to be my center okay and now once I have my center I can actually project all my corners like that there to my apex all my corners go to my apex like that okay so the difficult part is actually done here so sorry I'm just gonna fix that and then that over there okay there we have it now I can say number one number two number three number four and number five those are my mark my point my points that I have on my pentagon and then uh, I'm going to project it up get to my front view so that goes up but before I do that let me create a baseline for my my uh, pyramid and I project that up and I project those two lines up and that line up these are all my baselines and I have to project up my apex as well right so that's number one and two this is going to be my apex which is going to be on top there and this is going to be three and five and that's going to be number four my apex is actually 82 high so I'm going to go and do an 82 there and then all lines here are going to go to my apex all my points here to my apex like that and there right and then I'm going to put in my cutting line which is at 60 degrees there it is um, they don't they basically tell you that on that point there 35 up that's where your 60 is going to go through so you're going to find a 35 up anywhere so that's 50, 35 there and all you need to do is just to project that onto this line and wherever you find this point you're going to draw a 60 degree line there I would suggest now that you can actually darken your this view over here you can darken so I'm going to darken that view right putting in my cutting section there A A and then all other lines will be darkened as well so yeah I'm going to darken that I'm going to bring that line up to my apex here bring that line up to my apex there and this line over here is going to go up there there you've darkened that there's no changes or any alterations which will take place on that front view right so there you've got the first view out of the way now you are going to project lines down because it cuts over there which is basically on the base and it cuts on number three and five there and it cuts on number four so what you need to do is I'm going to use my color red um, I'm going to bring that down like that and I'm going to bring that point down and I'm going to bring that point down as well and then what I need to find through my base that's my base right around there so that's a base point that's a base point I'm going to darken that point those two points immediately right and then it cuts through three and five that's five that's three so on that point five there and that on that point three right so from there I can draw that line dark there 
and I can draw this line dark over here if you can see clearly what I'm doing there and then it cuts on number four number four comes down like that there's number four and then I'm going to darken that point there and that point there so the whole cut shape becomes symmetrical right this side is exactly like that side once you have that you can actually hatch that because that is where the part has been cut so you're going to hatch there's my hatching neatly evenly apart at preferably 45 degrees right here we go question i'm going to ask myself now is that if i cut and i want to use a blank sheet of paper if i cut and I view it from the top which is here that will still remain that top part will be gone that's gone this part will remain which means that all of this here will still remain can because that's all there that will remain that will be dark these will still go up till there this part of here that part now gone you won't see that part of the way so all I'm going to do is that I'm going to just add this part there, darken. I'm going to add this part, darken. And I'm going to add this part here, all part of the bottom section of my cut there. And then I'm going to take this up there. That goes up there. And the last point here goes up there. Right? This, unfortunately, is now gone you won't be able to see that that would still be the remainder in the bottom section so that part is now completed now boys and girls i'm going to move to my um right view or should i say my left view on my right hand side so i'm going to start by drawing any distance away here any distance any distance away here, i'm going to draw a another xy line which is another baseline, that line and that line. And then from where it meets, um, I'm actually going to just draw a 45 degree line down. And now I project all my points. I'm going to go number one, number two, uh, number three is here at the bottom, there, number four and number five are all going to go to my 45 and my apex my apex is actually in line with number four and then i'm going to take it up that's number five it's only going to go till there and i just want to extend this because that's my base there and then i'm going to do number one up till the apex and number four and because it's apex i'm going to take this right up till there and then this will be number two and that one is going to be number number three so let's just evaluate again that's number five this is number one this is four and apex is going to be on top that is number two and this is number three all right let's find apex apex is here bring apex across that is apex there all lines now faintly goes Go so all lines faintly go to my apex. Uh, that the that the four is there already. So I'm going to take that all down, all up. Okay. Now that would be the product before it has been cut. Now I'm going to take my cut section across. I'm going to take that across, and I'm going to take that line across. This is already across, but I need to find where it is. I won't be able to, but I'm going to take, wherever I cut through a base, I have to take this point till there, which basically would be on number one, right? And this one cut here is preferably, it's probably a millimeter away. Um, if you're very accurate, and this one also very accurate, um, if you look at it it is probably a millimeter on the inside of one which is there so your first two points where you cut will be here 
and there. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to darken those two points because they are on my base. Right? Now you can either take these one acro across or you can just say simply three and four, sorry, three and five. There's five. And three is on the other side. Okay, there. So now I can do that. There. And I can do that there. Okay. That's three and five. It's mine. It's slightly inaccurate, but I'm hoping that you will perfect it. And then the last one, which is on number four, number four is in the middle, which is there. And then I am going to draw that there. And I'm going to draw that there, making the shape symmetrical. Then, my cut section, that's cut, so I draw 45 degree lines in there very quickly, very accurately, and very neatly, evenly spaced apart. Like that the Okay, perfect. Now, question I'm going to ask again. If I take that away and I view it from this side, this part here is going to remain, which is that number 5 and number 3 there. This top part, which is there, that's gone now. So all I need to do is to extend that there till there and just bring this point down onto my three and that point down onto my five. I just want to make this a little bit more clearer. And there we have it. Uh, the rest of it all gone. That completes that view. Now, let's go to my true shape. So what we said, we will take this and we swing it that way so that we have that part over here. If we have space, you must just allow space. If it goes over the line, it's fine. So I'm going to draw a straight line here first. That is already in this, on this line there. And I can see there are two points that's going to be on this line. Then two points are going to be swung from this point there across there to get to that point over there okay there we go and then I'll take that point up there as well I'm going to take this across that way and across that way because it's symmetrical I'm going to put my my line my X line in the middle here and I'm going to put an X line there in the middle there that's my X line now I'm going to measure half 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 like I measure half so what I need to do is if I go to these two points which will be on this I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to measure what is this distance here right and it's because it's symmetrical I apply it to both sides so that would be um, say 18 right that's going to be 18 so it's 18 from here that way and it's going to be 18 from there that way down so I'm going to take my my ruler and I'm going to say 18 here and 18 on this side which, which is uh, 36 and I'm going to mark it here clearly there and there and I'm going to draw the line okay from the center draw the line it's 18 here and 18 that side from this point here and I'm, then I'm going to go to this point from that point up and that point down um, I'm going to measure and that's going to give me um, perfectly 12 so I'm going to go so it's going to be 12 the one side there's my 12 the one side and I'm going to go 12 the other side right I can now do that there project that up and project that up to my 12 points which is there and my last point is actually on right it's on the middle point which is there on my X point which is there and I'm just going to finish it off by doing that by doing that that's my cut section now I've measured that way and I've measured that way from each point that you see here from my center line and the last thing to finish it off completely is I'm just going to put in my hatching uh, if your etching is parallel to that, and you see it's parallel to that line, 
it is advisable to just use a different angle, which is your 60 degree angle, which you are going to use to complete the hatching of your true shape. All right, just like that. Did you evaluate my front views with the cut line, the top view with the cut section taken away, my left view on my right hand side with the cut section away, that is gone, that remains there as faint, and then my true shape is projected from here um, up there to get what it looks like in full view. Right, great stuff.